my my name is Chira. I'm Brian Chira. Of course, I'm Chira, and my confidence is mistaken for arrogance. Of course, I'm Chira. I spend money because I was once broke. Of course, I'm Chira. I travel the world and see wherever it takes me. Of course, I'm Chira. I give myself the best. Me, I'm a demon. I worship the devil. For real, I worship the devil. I, for real, I worship the devil. That is why everybody now is talking about me. Niluambia as a killer life. In the next five months, you'll be talking about who? Chira. Nobody else. I worship who? The devil. Killam Tan Yongilea. Later. Brian Chira is dead. He was hit by a car in the wee hours of the morning. He was drunk. Brian Chira. Let me be honest about what has been going on in my life for the past two weeks. I'll be honest and I'll speak the truth. God, you're my witness. I have had to run away from hotels. I have had to run away. I have had to shook up my tattoos because someone notices Brian Chira sitting next to them. God, I did nothing wrong. It's so painful. I'm just a small man who's trying to make it in this life. I'm just trying to sell my bags. I'm just trying to push my nail. Oh God. I have been beaten. I have been battered. God. I have been dissolved by everybody. I can't call family. I have. I can't call anybody. 95% of TikTok is gone. Because they are there clapping. Oh, yes. Hey. Satan is going to come in form of money. Satan is going to come in form of everything on TikTok. And we will cheer Satan and say, welcome. You are the best. I promise you. I promise you. You will live to tell me this one day. Nyako Alisema. 95% of Kenyan souls are going to be harvested on this platform. Tuongeni badai. Mimi nataka kuoga. Me I have no mother or father that I can call and say, Mom, Sinai. So when I was learning to do nails, why the fuck am I crying? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> guys um to be honest i really didn't want to touch on chira's story but after seeing this video i don't know if you have seen it if you haven't, no, you i have... worship the devil for real i worship the devil I, for real i worship the devil that is why everybody now is talking about me niluambia as a killer life in the next five months, you'll be talking about who? Chira. Nobody else. I worship who? The devil. Look at that video. Chira saying, I am of the devil. Okay? And then, there is this note. Personal note. I don't know if you've seen that note. But in that note, he seems to be asking questions like, will all this be ever enough? Trips, I don't know, to Maloka, Porsche cars, fame, and all this, will I ever get the peace that I need? Guys, it is sad, but it is the truth that we are going to lose somebody we really had close and dear to us. It is just a matter of time. But this person is, is fading away day by day. It is just a matter of time. Watch the space. My name is Shira, Brian Shira. Where my shagai? Where? Fear death. Anyway, Part one and part two of the accident videos are coming up. It's been so traumatizing. I can't use a matter to 
please take that picture and post it please do that dance do you my friend you don't know the next second you'll be alive the next second you'll be dead guys i want to shock you brian chira was running away from people or from someone who wanted to hurt him little did he know that it was a plan he was hit by a lorry he didn't see it coming he was running away from someone from something branchira is now dead nyako right now is talking about something you are not listening to nyako nyako is actually prophesizing her own death na ujue ninapotafutwa kuuliwa wewe pia uko ndani ya hiyo mpango people are coming after me know that you are part of the program part of the program did you hear it nyako said there is a program what does a program mean a program in maanisha kwamba there is a group of organized people when you wanafanya kazi na tiktokers they present you a deal deal ikibakfire wewe kaput you are waiting for tragedy to happen to you nyako knows very well that there is someone or there are some people who are after her people are coming after me i'm telling you this if you don't believe it shauri yako these are the same people when you alipotea na branchira i don't know what kind of deal these people have with tiktokers but something is definitely going on nyako is speaking in parables she is speaking in ciphers and for people like us who understand what she's saying nyako is crying for help someone is coming after nyako and nyako knows it very well someone has told me wanakutumia pesa ndio washe hiyo pesa na wachukue lakini kuna watu hapa tiktok wakikutumia hiyo pesa uende utoe warudishie kuna watu warudishi hapo ndio deal inaharibika na unaona tiktokers wanakufa so we are asking bwana kindiki please come and save these young kenyans wa kenya wako na njaa they will accept any kind of deal from all these shoddy business people and easy deals ki backfire ni my youths ndio wanakufa as i finish there is a pastor who prophesized that nyako atakufa akiwa alive i'm leaving this prophecy here today is 17th march 2024 this woman will just collapse and she will die na atakuwa on live wachini niwaambie i'm looking at you dead on the face these things will happen it might not happen today or tomorrow next week or next month but it will happen kaini macho sana so apparently brian chira witnessed his own death <laughs> yeah ajali hiyo ikitukia utaanza tu kwa ufupi jina lako ni nani na ni nini haswa ilitendeka naitwa brian chira and i saw the whole accident it happened that a lorry was coming up from the other side and there was a matatu I love who now the law of life states that for you to be able to eat something for you to eat a fruit you know vegetable something you have to put seed to the ground right then you get a harvest and in between you have to give it time and also invest in things like manure you know and stuff this you have to water it you have to expose it to sunlight there's a process before you can eat something So any time there is a shortcut you're going to have to pay for it. Any time there's a shortcut. So this is just something that has been in my mind for a while. To no particular person mm -mm. please don't preempt things. I can already feel you preempting things. Do, please do not It's just something for especially young people to think about. When people send you lions left right, you need an excessive lions. Ask yourself, money is the most Okay, it's not the most the most precious commodity is food. How did we know during COVID? 
People would stay in, but for food, we would risk our lives and go out now. But money is somewhere there on the, right? Money is a very precious commodity. Why? Of course, life is the most precious commodity. The food, uh, yeah, yeah, just remember. So money is a very precious commodity. Actually, the Bible says that money answereth all things. Hey, that's power. That's power right there. So for someone to just be giving you money, which represents their sweat, no wonder even the Bible says that wherever your money is, your heart is. Yani money is that powerful. So when money is that powerful, means it's that precious. Why would someone be giving you a lot of their money? When they give you their money, they're giving you their sweat. When they give you their sweat, they're giving you their blood. They're literally giving you their life. Why would someone give you their life for free? A lot of it. Just people throwing you lions a lot. I'm not talking about one lion, two lions. Mm -mm. Some people can just be very passionate about what you're doing. They like, But when someone blows like a lot of... Why? Always ask yourself, why? What to see Wajing? So, a few days ago, we lost a very popular TikTok content creator by name Brain Shira. He's from Kenya. That is my first time hearing about him. I've never known him when he was alive. So, let me tell you people the cost of some TikTok content creators. Let me tell you the cost of their death. The cost of the death of some TikTok content creators that a lot of us, we don't know. Let me tell you people. One, through gifting. Guys, you people don't know that these gifts that they throw on you on TikTok, you are happy. They throw lion. You are happy. They throw TikTok. They throw big, big gift that you convert into millions of naira, into millions of shilling, into millions of CFA francs. And you are happy. People that you don't even know, they will come on your live stream. They will throw gifts on you. You are happy. <laughs> you think you are making money online. That is the one of the cause of the death of TikTokers. If you people don't know. This thing is spiritual. Social media in a whole is something spiritual. If you are not, if you don't hold your skin on social media, you can enter into sacred society without knowing. These people that throw gifts on you on TikTok, you people think that they just pick that money from the street to come and throw on you on TikTok. When they throw that money on you like that, they collect your star. They collect your destiny. They collect your future. They even kill you in the process. Anything that comes from somewhere you don't know, the devil gives you something to collect blood. The devil gives you gifts to collect your life. But you don't know. Be one. These are the things. Let me tell you, I'm a living testimony. There are some links that people send on you on this TikTok. You click on those links, you enter. A lot of you accept some things on this very social media without knowing. They have sent me a lot of those links. They have sent me a lot of some certain kind of funny proposals on social media. But you know why? A lot of youths tend to accept these offers without knowing that it is a sacred court they are entering into. It is something that is going to cost their life. We accept it ignorantly. We accept it innocently. We don't know. Click this link. You, they will did it. Do like this. They will give you coins. Do like this. They will give you money. You don't know that it is a sacred something you are entering into. What is up, you dazzling diamonds and the others? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kyle, and this is the vault. 
Anyway, you guys, let's jump straight into this video. Alrighty then you guys, if you guys haven't already, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys do enjoy my videos, please do click on that thank you button, right? Guys, in this video, I want to talk about how freaky deaky, really scary TikTok is becoming, you know? There's this guy, he passed away recently, may he soul rest in peace, right? His name was... Um, Chira, Brian Chira. My name is Chira. I'm Brian Chira. Of course, I'm Chira. Now he's from. Um, he's he's an African guy. He was an African guy, and very popular on TikTok, right? His star grew when he actually witnessed a roadside accident, and then he was interviewed, I guess, by the news crew that was there. For some reason, on that day, this guy stood out and he said what he saw. And then people started to gravitate towards him. And he started to build his name on TikTok as Brian Chira. Made a Brian Chira. And I saw the whole accident. Now, I must say, when I watch the videos, because now I've been kind of really interested in the story. Because people really love this guy. They really, really did. There's a lot of people that we don't know that are out there on the internet and they really do exist with a really large fan base and they're killing it on the internet. And then they get killed on the internet type of situation. Really, really sad. So he witnessed an, ex an accident. I think it was last year. And then they interviewed him on the news and then he became popular from there. He grew his TikTok. He does these lives and wada wada. Which country is it? It's a country in Africa. Where is it? I'm gonna put it here because I forget, right? So then he grows his his fan base. He's, he's popular. He's making the money. Wada wada. These people regularly go on the lives, and on the lives they get the lions. They get the universes. Now, those gifts on these lives are equivalent to money. I saw in the comment sections of some of those videos, it's like 30k, 60k. And every time they get the lions and what have you now, this is on TikTok, they get really excited because they know they're going to make money. This is how much a lion on TikTok is worth. The lion gift is available on TikTok Live and it's a type of gift that as you're watching the video, you can give to the person that is producing that live. As of today, they cost 29,999 TikTok coins, which is an equivalent of around $400 US. But now for the content that they are serving on these lives, I just sit there and I it's like the people that were doing the AI stuff. Mm, um, hot dog, yum, yum, yum. All that weird stuff that people were doing at some point, that trend. It doesn't... I don't see why they're making all this money. Getting all these gifts, the lines. And uh, who are these people? Because they go live every single day. And they get these lines and universes. I guess the lines and the universes and stuff like that are like at a really high level. Some people get caps and... That's just the small stuff, I mean, you know. But the lions and stuff, it's it's a big deal. And this this guy was getting a lot of lions. But it's not just him. It's like the people that he goes live with. It's a group of people. Then there's this one guy in the comment section. His name is Rosso. King Rosso, he calls himself. Nobody actually knows his identity, right? But whenever anyone sees Rosso in the comment section, they know to give it the all on these lives. I don't like lives, guys. I don't like lives. This, I've always said this is something dangerous about I'm alive. Because you can't go back. And there's always, trust and believe, there's always somebody that's going to be recording you. One mistake, you're fucked. Type of situation. So this Rosa guy, he will give in one live sitting 25 lions. Then you'll go to the next person's life, do the same thing. 
The second objective is uh, visiting the sick in various hospitals. Why put a hore? And he's anonymous. Nobody knows him. Nobody's seen his face. Why put a hore? Where do these people? Why do people? I don't get it. Why do people just randomly give people money on the lives? Sixty k randomly. 25 lions. There's something really fishy about that. Do, do people really love internet people that much that you want to gift them that much? In one sitting, what do you benefit? Where do you get that money from? Is it like really wealthy people just sitting out there watching the nobodies? Make fools of themselves on these lives and just, oh, let me just give them money just for the, the heck of it. Because they don't even do anything great on those lives. They don't even actually just do anything great. Honestly, they don't. So now, the word on the street is that this Russell guy is not just one guy. It's probably some kind of cult organization. Remember how I was telling you guys, don't accept money from strangers. It's giving you money out in the clubs. Those people that spray you with money randomly. Those people that come up to you and they're recording and they're giving you money. They don't even show their faces, some of them. Because these things are attached to the occult. They are, they are, they are attached to evil, demonic spirits. They give you the money and they take in Tlantlazaka, your luck, your future, your years. And when you accept this money, you come into agreement with their zibijibis and hohos or into whatever it is that they are trying to do to you or end your life, cut your life short. People are now saying that this Rosso guy and the people that are gifting people online so much money all the time on all these lives are part of a cult because People are starting to really perish on TikTok. Guys, it is sad, but it is the truth that we are going to lose somebody we really had close and dear to us. It is just a matter of time. But this person is, is fading away day by day. Hi, guys. There's something I want to talk about. There's something I've observed. TikTok is killing people. TikTok is taking lives. TikTok is consuming lives. I'm starting to believe that this app is Illuminati. Kwa sababu, strange things are happening. Strange things are happening on TikTok. And I'm seeing myself deleting the app. As much as it is entertaining, like any, it's, it's scary. It's so scary. 95% of TikTok is gone. Because they're there clapping. Oh, yes. Hey. Satan is going to come in form of money. Satan is going to come in form of everything on TikTok. And we will cheer Satan and say, welcome. You are the best. I promise you. Brian Chira is dead. And it's the people that are always getting these extravagant lion gifts and universe gifts. Brian Chira is not the only one. There's another lady now. That was Brian Chira's friend. She receives a lot of these gifts, but she also gives. And she's been coming out saying that they're coming to get her. She's saying that how TikTok is actually very satanic. And that a lot of people are actually going to lose their lives. So you see now, guys, these people are not just giving you the physical money. They found a way to get into the apps. You take their money on these apps because you're not doing anything. You're just live. 
it must make you wonder. You know, money that you don't work hard for. You need to question it. It's different if you're online and you, you're providing a service to people. You're educating people. You're actually doing something. You actually do your research. Some of us do. And you put in time and effort into the videos that you create, the editing. But these people that just go on live and do nothing. You must ask yourself, why are they rewarding you? Do people really love you that much? Take the gun. I'm not saying don't go out there and give people that you like. I mean, give them. But there is something sinister that is happening with these um, TikTok creators. Why are they dying? People are saying now this other lady is next. She's saying herself that they are after her. Who are they? And what does she know? Oh, Brian Cherry, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, he actually witnessed an accident. Months later, he came on to TikTok Live. And then he said that he serves Satan. He said that. And then he came back again and he said, it's like he was prophesying on his own life. You know these people, when they go into these occult things, they can tell you how long your life is going to be. I can't remember, they put some chicken grains, what, what, and then the chicken has to go there and pick. My camera is not straight, you guys. I don't know why. The chicken has to go and pick the grains when you're doing these ritual things. Then the number of grains determine how long you're going to live. And you don't have a say in that when you sell your soul. Do you understand what I mean? That's actually really freaky dicky. Because then months later, he came out to say that I'm popular right now, but in five months, and this was five months ago, you guys on the internet will be talking about me once again. And the story was trending about Brian Chira's death. He was accurate about how many months it was going to be that we were talking about him. And then he died. But guess how he died? In an accident. He was bumped by a car. The same way how he witnessed the car crash. <sighs> Do you see that these evil people and forces are infiltrating we've all known i remember when i started speaking about tiktok how i was against it and i just found it so weird because i'm on tiktok it's like a clock look at the name your time is up and it's so true because it consumes so much of our daily lives you don't do anything without a tiktok how many of you like myself Go to the kitchen, you're cooking, you have your little phone stand there, you're chopping, <laughs> TikTok is there. You go, you bathing. And then for some reason, I feel like they're watching us. Just now, we have nudie pictures out there. Can't they never clap because we're watching TikTok and they were watching. Everywhere you go, everywhere I go, get TikTok. I'm a very rational person and I can see a lot of things that are happening, but even I have become or fallen victim to this TikTok addiction. It's, an, it's so addictive, guys. We don't even communicate normally anymore. We communicate through TikTok. If something relates, you'll send it to your partner, you'll send it to your mother, you'll call your kids, come and see this. Because it can relate. You can relate to it. TikTok everything. It's starting to feel very dangerous. Like, it's too much. It's so, so, so hectic. And I feel like we are telling ourselves, well, oh, this app is great, getting information out there and receiving information. We're just telling ourselves that thing. But some way, somehow, it's very dangerous. It, like, something is not right. This is not normal. You know how they say you're gonna, uh, people are going to get the mark in their right hand or in their forehead. I was looking at my phone, I'm like, it's always in my right hand. What if? I'm not saying that that is the mark. I'm just saying, what if? Because it's always in my hand and I'm always watching TikTok. Sometimes I don't even want to record videos. I want to watch TikTok. 
It's TikTok everything. Everything. So these creepy people have infiltrated TikTok. And you're just going on the lives looking for Abo Rosso to gift you all these lines and stuff. Why are they giving? They're not even doing anything. You're just live. Do people really love? I understand. I, I don't say you should follow Upionze like that because now nah, she's very creepy and scary. But she's working. Watch Ava. She's singing. You know, she's a performer. She's an artist. These people do nothing. They can just let, be laying in bed with last night's crust in their eyes. And they get gifted these lions. Tell it they can for nothing. We really need to be careful where we are receiving money from, eh? Because something is something is uh, something funny is happening with this group of people. He witnesses an accident, he dies in an accident. He predicts that in five months people will be ranting and raving about me. After his stardom, he got heavy into alcohol. There was another lady that was saying to him, stop drinking so much. She also said, in five months, I'm coming to your house for your funeral. Stop drinking so much alcohol. So he got the stardom, but then something happened in his life, something dark. Receiving all these lions, all this money from the lives. Something changed. Yes, he didn't have, uh, he didn't get uh, into the backstory of his life, but I'm sure you saw the clip. But he didn't have the, 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 the greatest life. But after he got famous on TikTok, his life went downhill. Drinking all the time. Da, da, da. And a lot of creators, they drink when they're recording. When they go live, they're always drinking. I mean, they're doing his daradi. I'm pretty damn sure of that. Because some of these people, if you stumble across a live or you've seen a video of a live being recorded, they love them. Like, it's like you don't know them personally, but you can just tell. You're not yourself. Are you okay? It's not just TikTok. And with TikTok, TikTok has become very much like Beagle. There was this app that I was on before called Beagle where we used to go live. And you go live for these gifts. Now, I was relatively very new on there. And then when I got an agent on that app, because you have to get an agent in order for you to start getting paid, I started to get bored and I, I gained traction quicker on YouTube than there. So I was like, let me focus on my YouTube. But it's very similar. You have to battle. People are outrageous. People are singing. People are dancing. People do a lot of weird things online. It's like you're selling your soul. To be a clown. You have to question where this money is coming from and why so much of it. And then why are these young creators dying? And why do they fall into alcoholism and drugs once they start to rise? Why can't they just be their normal selves? Why can't they just record their videos normally? Sober. I understand that we're all going through a little bit of something somewhere in our lives. But something happens here. Calling her off. And there's definitely something going on with this Brian Chira situation. I'm going to keep you guys updated. Because I feel like something funny is going to happen to that other lady. Nyako. Her name is Nyako. These people are into something weird. I, I never put it past these African people from these African countries. Mm -mm. Calling door off. Where there's smoke, there's fire. You just... I, I, could, I just can't accept money. And there's no reason for that money coming in. First of all, I would feel very guilty. But if somebody wants to click on the thank you button and they donating because they, they appreciated my work on a video because I do my work, even in the background. I do my work. I watch the videos. I do my research. Then I come out to give my opinion. Right? And I don't give a half as product. But when it's just somebody looking dirty and crusty, just coming onto a life, just to live their life and breathe, and they're getting gifted for no reason. They're not educating you. They're not helping you in any way. 
They're not performing nothing. What am I getting myself into? What am I coming into agreement with? It's very, very strange. It's getting freaky. And now that I'm mentioning it here, I know that a lot of you have TikTok. It's probably this um this story that's unfolding, Brian Chira and whatnot. It's gonna start popping up on you guys' for you pages on TikTok. Cause you know, I get it, they have access to you. You think of something pops up on your for you page. You guys are gonna be in the know about this situation. Just be careful out there, guys. I've always told you how weird I feel about these lives. There's something not okay with that situation. Couldn't go off and receiving money. On my ass, go to be happy for no reason. That should be a problem. That should get you thinking, right? Be safe out there, you guys. I just thought it was an interesting story for me to share with you. Anyway, if you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys do enjoy my videos, please do click on that thank you button. And people are saying out there prayers to Nyako, Nyako prayers. Um, because people are really speaking about something's going to happen to her. She's speaking about it her damn self. That guy, U Uchira, Brian Chira, he was saying how he believes in Satan and all these things. There's something that, it's either there's something that these people are involved in. Or there's a group, a cult somewhere. That is targeting these young TikTokers. It's weird. Anyway, be safe out there. Bye.